and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swoosh. I'm here today to talk about GS. This was a trade from last week, a couple of days ago, but the reason I wanted to bring it up is because I'm doing the entries class in the next week and in the room, people were asking me why I put the stop where I put the stop for the GES. So in the entries class, I go over entries and also where to put the stops. And the thing is that when you day trade, you have to get the directional bias right for the stock you're trading. Got to get the right pick, which is a symbol, which in this case on this day was GES. And also you have to get the correct entry. That's what determines the risk to reward that you're getting in the trade. And obviously you want to get in a move that goes in your direction quickly. And, and this did. Now by quickly, I mean within the first 30 minutes. That's what I'm really looking for. So GES, I rated the gap, it opened, it rallied. I did not do this here, okay? I did not short this in here. I didn't do it, I didn't call it. And then it kind of collapsed. So I wanted to find a way in. So here's where I shorted it. And then here's where I put the stop. Now, it went right away, then it rallied, retested and held. I think it held exactly within two cents it did. The stop was 13.65. The high of this tail is 1363, and then it dropped all the way down here. It got 10 cents from the target. Target was $13, okay, on the day for this. One of the targets, it got within 10 cents of that in the morning move at 10.04. This is still a morning move. Sometimes you get out a little bit before 10, a little bit after 10. This is close enough. But the low of this bar here is, guess what, 1361. This is very exact, people. And so I'm very good at looking at things to determine what resistance level will hold, okay? What's the resistance level that the stock will hold? So when it opened and rallied and dropped and broke and rallied back, it held the least level of resistance for the stock to go on and break and fall, which by the way, it did. So this was a really, really good entry in here, okay? Because it was 39 by 65, which, you know, roughly sized it out for 25 cents, which is a small stop. So wherever, whatever you get out of it, get out of it. Obviously, every day I'm looking to get something to target. Some days you do, some days you don't. This did not get to the target. It got within 10 cents of it. But the time of the day, you time it, you got to get out. Anyways, this is the kind of thing that I teach in the entries class, which is an advanced class for people that either have taken my Golden Gap course or people that just want to learn entries that have not taken the Golden Gap class. Anyways, for more information on this, if you'd like to do the class, it's during the week. You can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. The class is a half day class that's split up into two half days. It will be this Wednesday, December 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern time and next Monday, December 12th at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So it will be split up. It's a full day class I split up into two half days. If you'd like more information on how to register for this and learn more of the technique of what I do, it is a good intro for the Golden Gap course if you're interested. The cost is $14.99 and I'm running a 30% off special if you wanna sign up for the class in December. Good way to start out the year learning how to do entries right. My email is melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Thanks everyone, have a great day.